This has jumpers built into it as well as it has a compressor. It's got work lights. It's even got an inverter on the back with outlets. Yo, what's up guys? It's Rick. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, it's kind of impromptu, but I thought it might be helpful for people to figure out. But based on the title says, I'm going to be showing you guys what all I keep in my Tacoma. What are all the little things that I keep in all the storage pockets and stuff inside of my Tacoma? Um, so let's get into it. First up, probably one of the most important things, jumper cables. I picked these up at Harbor Freight, um, and that's gonna be pretty common with a lot of these tools that they've been picked up at Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight's cheap, and uh, they got some good quality stuff. So, good pair of jumper cables. Second thing, a tool kit. I can't remember what, I think this is a, like a 42 piece tool kit, but it's got all your wrenches, all your sockets, uh, pliers, cutters, vice grips. It's got Allen keys, all the attachments, even some eyeglass screwdrivers, some nails if you need it, a socket set, a hammer, a tape measure. It's got pretty much all the essentials you would need for a quick on the side of the road fix, all your screwdrivers. So this is an essential that goes in my truck. Um, to always have a toolkit handy. Next thing is a tarp. This is again is a tarp from Harbor Freight. It's actually one of those you can pretty much get these normally for free um, with one of their coupons. Uh, but I like to have a tarp for multiple reasons. One, if it's wet outside and I, I'm on the side of the road and I need to work on my truck, I can put this down on the ground so I have something dry to be uh, laying on. And two, I'm a DJ so uh, we are out at events all the time and you never know when you might need a tarp to throw over some gear because of some last minute it starts raining like crazy. Uh, just, it's a helpful thing. It doesn't take up much space and it's a tarp. A lot of usages that you can think of. Next is a variety of ratchet straps and these are uh, varying lengths. I got 20 foot ones in here. I got regular ones in here. These are obviously mainly for tying down stuff inside of the truck, as well as I pull a trailer, so having ratchet straps in general is good to have uh, both the tie down stuff in my bed and the tie down stuff in my trailer, so ratchet straps. Next thing, as I mentioned, I pull a trailer, so I have additional ball. So this right here is a two inch ball. I actually use a two and five sixteenths with my trailer, but a two inch ball is very common for other trailers that I might be pulling. So I always have a spare two inch ball in my truck as well as the wrench to be able to take off the ball and put on the other ball. Next thing is actually a breaker bar. And the main reason for this is because the lug nut size of my aftermarket wheels that I will be putting on this truck that I had on my last truck are a different socket size. So they are a 19 millimeter versus a 22 millimeter that's on the stock Tacoma lug nut. So I always have my breaker bar here with my 19 millimeter socket with a little bit of an extender on it in my truck for my aftermarket rims if I ever have to take them off. Again, flat tire, you name it, um, I have the wrench to be able to take them off because like I said, the stock tire iron that's inside the truck is a 22 millimeter that works with the OEM rims, which are currently on this truck, but will be coming off very shortly when I put a lift kit on. Always have a spare tire iron for the rims that you have. Also, this breaker bar is just a heck of a lot better and a lot longer, and it's just, it's just easier to use than the stock one that they give you that's only like that long. Tire pressure, tire pressure gauge. If you don't have one of these in your car or vehicle, you need to get one. You should always have a tire pressure gauge, that way you can check your tire pressure uh, in, in, your, in your tire. Next, this little handy dandy screwdriver right here. Um, this actually pops out, has multiple ends on it. This is super handy. You can get these at Harbor Freight. Again, these are like a freebie. Normally you can get these with a free coupon, just like the tarp at Harbor Freight. So highly recommend throwing a screwdriver like this, a multi-screwdriver in your vehicle. It's just a little bit easier to get to than the screwdrivers that'll be in your toolkit. And um, I just like it. It's got a bigger grip on it. It's easier to use. Continuing with the trailer, I have this little tool right here. Uh, my trailer actually has an electric jack that goes up and down. So if that ever fails or I don't have power for some reason, I have to use the manual one, which is right here. So I have to keep that on me so that I can use it with my trailer and I keep it in my truck. Next, kind of on the essentials side, uh, I always keep a pair of shoes in my truck because a lot of times I wear flip-flops like this 
and you never know when you might need a spare pair of shoes so I always carry a spare pair of shoes in my truck as well. Moving on to the big boy items. This is my jumper box. This has jumpers built into it as well as it has a compressor. It's got work lights. It's even got an inverter on the back with outlets. This thing has all you could ever want in an emergency situation. So this thing is great. It's got air compressor, like I said, ports, inverter, work lights, jumper. It can actually jump your vehicle if your vehicle is dead. It's got enough power built into this battery system to jump your vehicle. This is a Harbor Freight pickup right here. A lot of the stuff you're seeing is Harbor Freight and you can pick it up at Harbor Freight. I love this thing. It's great. It takes up a lot of room though. Uh, so for the most part, I normally keep it in my tailgate, but um, this thing comes in handy more times than you could ever imagine. The last thing that I keep in my truck, uh, work glasses. Again, if you're ever on the side of the road and you gotta work on your vehicle, you gotta be safe. So uh, some work glasses are very helpful, especially if like liquids are poured down and you don't get them in your eye. Uh, I always have a pair of safety glasses in the truck, as well as a variety of spare sunglasses. I have my really good sunglasses that I always keep in my truck as well, but um, sometimes I take those out of my truck, I go to the beach, you name it, and I forget to put them back in there, so a variety of spare sunglasses comes in handy. And lastly, a multi-tool. This is a variety multi-tool with knives and pliers and all kinds of stuff. Again, we got a toolkit, but for small stuff, uh, a multi-tool like this comes in handy. And also, if you do happen to go out somewhere, say you go out hiking or something like that, uh, this is nice to be able to throw in your backpack or something. So I always keep a multi-tool in my truck as well. But yeah, guys, this was just a very, very quick video um, going through all the stuff that I keep in my truck. Like you guys know, I just got this truck, so I'm putting all this into the truck right now. So I figured this might be a good video to film to show you guys what all I keep in my truck for all those situations that might arise on the road, possibly. So... If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave it down in the comment section down below anything I might have missed. Is there some stuff that you actually keep in your vehicle that you think might be useful for me? Oh, I did forget. I normally also carry a thing of Meguiar's quick detailer as well as a microfiber cloth. I, I like to take care of my vehicle, so I always keep that in there. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see all the awesome videos that are going to be coming out on the channel. As well as lifting the truck, putting the new rims and tires on it. Uh, the cold air intake, we got a lot of stuff coming in terms of mods, interior lights, bed lights, trailer brake controller, um, so that's all going to be coming on this video, so hit that subscribe button. Anyways guys, don't forget to like this video, I think I already told you that, but make sure you like this video, and uh, like always, um, Taco Rick out. Peace.